What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to mock API calls when writing tests for your applications. Mock! Yeah! In most applications, you'll need to fetch data to use in your app. You'll probably have to make post requests to the server to sign a user up or to save data to a database. But you don't want to do all this every time you run a test for your application. It would be unreliable because of the many different reasons your tests could pass or fail that do not involve your code. You also don't want to start actually adding dummy data into your real app because then you end up with usernames like testing123 and hello is this thing on. I got worms. So that's where MSW comes in. Mock service worker. It lets you define request handlers that intercept your API calls and then you can send custom responses that match the response you would get from the real server. Whether that be a status 200 and some JSON, or an error because it's good to test against errors as well. We'll have to install MSW. We can do that by running npm install msw dash dash save to put it in our package.json and then dash dev to make it a dev dependency. hundred million vulnerabilities. We're just going to clear that. Then we'll come to our source folder. We'll create another folder called mocks. And inside mocks we'll create a file called handlers.js. Inside here we'll import rest from MSW. Then we'll do a export const handlers, which is an array. And this is where we will add our request handlers. So the API calls that I will be mocking, this is an application that I've deployed, by the way. And I have this find friends page where when the user goes to this page, it'll fetch all the users from the database that the user is not friends with and display them on the screen. So that's a get request to my apps URL slash find friends. And then if they click on one of those usernames, it will send a post request where it adds that friend to the user's list of friends. So you might not have an environment variable here. You'll just have a URL, but same thing. So I want to mock this get request in our handlers here. So this is where we'll use that rest that we imported here. So you pass in the URL as a string, then a comma, and then a response resolver function. That'll be a callback function. And in that, there will be a request, a response, and a context. And the context is where you could set the status code to 200 or do a context.json and add in an object that you want to send with the response. You can set the headers, etc. So we'll do a return response and in that response we'll do the context dot status. We'll send it a 200. We'll do a comma and we'll also do a context dot json And this is where we can send the JSON with the response. And for this to work in our tests, we need to match the exact response that we get back from our server. So in my index.js or app.js, that's where my server code is. This is the get request that we're mocking. And so I'm sending back a result 
on a successful request and I commented the format of that result. It's an array of objects and each object has a username and then a string of whatever the username is. So in our handlers here, that was an array of objects where the key was username and then a value of the username. We'll say friend1 and a friend2. So that covers this get request in this array. And we're going to add another, which will be that post request. So go back into find friends, and this was the post request. So in this application, I'm using Redux, and so this props.state.user is just a username that is in the Redux store. So in order to test this, I had to provide some initial state where I enter a user into that state. And so this is just me grabbing that user from that initial state. So that's just Redux related. And I'll make another video on how to test Redux applications. And I'll toss a link to that video in this description. But the user that I made in Redux was Van Halen. So this is a post request. We do not have to send in the parameters that we're sending in with the post request, like the username that they clicked on to add a friend. We don't have to send in that username. This is just the post request URL that they're hitting. Then we'll do our request, request response context. Return response. We'll do the context context status 200. By the way, if you wanted to test for errors, you could do a status 404 and then a custom message. If you want to send like an error message, or just do a context status 404. We'll go with the 200, comma, and we'll do the JSON as well. Look in our backend code here. Let's see, that was a add friend. That's the ID, which is Van Halen in this case, but the ID, add friend, the result, I send an object that says friend added because when they click on the username to add the friend, it'll say friend added. So that's an object with friend added. Okay, so these are our handlers and those are all set up, but there's a little bit more we have to do here. We'll save that. We're exporting these already. Now we'll come into the mocks folder and create a server.js we'll import setup server from msw slash node and then we'll import our handlers from our handlers file then we just do a export const server equals setup server and we'll pass in those handlers. Save that. And last thing we have to do is with create react app, they give you this setup tests file and that configures your test runner just with your create react app. And in here, we'll need to import our server from 
our mocks folder and server file. And they've made this very simple, but we need to start the server before our tests run. We need to reset the server after each test. And when all the tests are done, we need to close the server. So it's just a few functions here before all do a server dot listen after each do a server dot reset handlers and then a after all server dot close and you don't have to do this but definitely makes me feel a lot more comfortable. You can have it give you an error if you're trying to hit an API that you're not intercepting so that you don't accidentally hit your real server or your real database when testing your application. And to do that inside the server.listen before all, you can send in this object on unhandled request. error. You could also put warning here as well. So we'll save that. So that's it for the configuration. Then you would just add to these handlers here as you wrote more tests and needed more APIs to intercept. You just add to this array here. I already wrote a test for these by the way. So fetch and display friends to add that renders the component and then I had that use effect where it automatically fetched the usernames that you could add to friends when the user goes to the page. So my handlers, that's the, they go to the find friends and I return the array of objects, two different usernames, friend one, friend two, so it would list those and then when they click on one it'll say friend added so that's the second test adds friend when username clicked I render the component user event click and I await for the friend one to show up because it retrieves those from the database and I click on it and then I await that it says added so we'll do a npm run test. Test passed. And I really want to highlight the point that you need to match the response that you're getting back from these intercepted API calls because if it's slightly different, it'll still give you an error and it's not the best at letting you know why you're getting the error. So definitely do like a console.log on your response and make sure you have that exact. Let's see, if I do, we'll say an object of friends equals this array. It'll fail, it'll show you the rendered code, couldn't fetch users, and where it had trouble, but it doesn't really say why or how. So I definitely got stuck a few times because of that and didn't realize it was just a slight variation on a response I was sending back. Like the one time I was fetching an array of posts and I just sent back an array of posts just like we did with the friends here but it was it actually needed to be like this where it was an object that had posts and then the array so heads up on that anyways hope this helped you out if it did maybe hit that like and subscribe the comments pretty much make my day so <laughs> all right look I'm not ending this video until you like and subscribe <laughs> just kidding and that's all for today thank you for watching Check it, check it.